What's going on guys? Almost fun coming at you guys today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the preview. Yes, this is the Detroit Lions at the New York Jets. We are going over to New York to play in those Jets. Lions coming in at 6 and 7, second in the NFC North, and the Jets 7 and 6, fourth in the AFC East. This is kind of like the Dan Campbell versus Robert Sala game, two head coaches. Um because you know Robert Sala was one of the heavy favorites to be the head coach being named the Detroit Lions head coach never happened. Interview apparently went went wrong. And uh, Dan Campbell become our head coach. But, but let's start with the injury report. We'll start with the Lions. They are the away team. Uh, offensive tackle, Coyote Ewosika. Ankle, did not practice. He is out for the game. Linebacker, Derek Barnes. Knee, did not practice. Out again. That's a couple weeks now for Derek Barnes. We need him back in that lineup. Uh, defensive tackle, Michael Brockers with an illness. There's an illness going around again, guys, in that, my, in that, in that uh, Detroit locker room. Continued from last week. Did not practice. He's doubtful. He won't be playing. I don't think he even dresses anyways. Uh, fullback, Jason Cabinda has an ankle. Limit of practice. He's questionable. Cornerback, Mike Hughes, got an illness going on too as well. He did, did not practice, but he is labeled questionable. Um, a big one, defensive end, Aiden Hutchinson, the rookie out of Michigan. Illness, limited practice, questionable. He said he did feel pretty good today, though. He was at practice limited, obviously, but uh, let's hope he doesn't feel the effects kind of like Akuda did last week. Um, center Frank Ragnow has an ankle injury, limited practice, questionable as well. Frank should be going. And then guard Evan Brown, ankle, full practice, no injury designation. Uh, uh, left tackle Taylor Decker, ankle, full practice, no injury designation. Uh, safe, uh, uh, cornerback Will Harris, sorry, hip, full practice, no injury designation. And then safety CJ Moore. Uh, with the shoulder, full practice, no injury designation. Go so guys are getting healthy. We've got a couple guys out, though. Looks like three for sure with Awosika, Barnes, and Brockers. But uh, hopefully Hutchinson is, is good to go and he's not feeling those effects of that, of that illness, apparently, that's been going around the locker room. So now let's go with the Jets. Wide receiver, Corey Davis, you know, the veteran concussion, did not practice. He is out for the game. DB, Brandon Eccles, quad, did not practice. He is out as well for the Jets. Um, quarterback, Mike White, just heard this news today. Ribs, he got he got, he got got banged up in that Buffalo game last week. Got hit pretty hard by a couple guys, Mike Milano. And I, I think it was, um, I don't know who the other was, the defensive tackle there. Ed Oliver, I think it was, who really lit him up. Um, he was supposed to be going. Doctors did not clear him. The ribs are just too... Just too tender, whatever they are, you know, probably having some problems. He's out. Zach Wilson in. Uh, no Joe Flacco. Flacco will be backing up. So we'll talk about that in a bit like that. So that's, that that could be good and bad for the Detroit Lions. We'll talk about it. Um, the defensive tackle, this is another big one. Quinnen Williams, he has a calf injury. He did not practice. He is questionable. I think Robert Sala said he was 50-50 if he was going to be able to go on on Sunday. He is a hell of a football player, man, Quinton Williams, from that defensive tackle spot. He's a sack machine. He gets to the quarterback. He's, he plays the run. He does everything well. If he, if he doesn't play, that's kudo, That's that's a good sign for the Lions. Um, defensive end, John Franklin Myers. Illness, full practice, no injury designation. Offensive tackle, Dwayne Brown. Shoulder, full practice, no injury designation too. Defensive end, Michael Clemens, rookie knee, full practice, no injury designation. And offensive tackle, George Fant, has a knee injury, but he is full practice, no injury designation. So a couple key guys out for the New York Jets. Maybe Quinn and Williams. We'll see. But Mike White was supposed to start. Now they're going to the second overall pick, uh, the second-year kid out of BYU, Zach Wilson, and we'll see what happens there. But we'll talk about it. But let's talk about the rankings. We'll start with the offense. Lions first because they're a weight team. 385.8 yards total yards, fifth in the league. 248.8 passing yards, seventh in the league. Rush yards, 127.5, puts them at 11. They score 26.8 points per game, puts them at fifth. And, they, and they're getting better at converting third downs into first downs. Their percentage is at 43.1. That puts them at eight. Six overall offense in the NFL, still a high-powered offense. Uh, Jets, total yards, 354.5, puts them at 19. Passing yards, 224.8, puts them at 15. Rushing yards, 
112.1 puts them at 20 uh, points. They score about 20.3 points a game, puts them at 22. And, the, and, and, and their third down conversion rate into first downs is at a 34.2. Puts them at 25, at 29 um, in the NFL. It's about the 25th, 26th overall uh, offense in the NFL. Nothing special, but uh, they do have a couple players over there. Now, defensively, defensively, it's it gets interesting here because, you know, we're still a bad defense, but we're playing much better the last month and a half of football. So, so total yards for us, 416.7 yards, puts us at 31st. Uh, passing yards against, 263.4, puts us at 30th. Rush yards, 139.8, puts us at 26th. We're giving up 26.7 points per game, puts us at 31. And our stopping third down into first downs, our conversion rate's 48.1, puts us at 31st. We're on the 31st ranked defense in the NFL. Don't think we're the worst anymore, but we're we're pretty damn close. But uh, we've been playing much better football the last, like I said, month and a half. Now for the Jets defense, total yards, 320.3, puts them at number two. Pass yards, they're only giving up 189.4, puts them at number four. You can run on them a little bit, but not, not great. Uh, they give up 111.8 yards, puts them at 13th in the league. They're only giving up 18.7 points, uh, puts them at 6th. And they're stopping third downs in the first downs. Their conversion rate is 38.9%, puts them at 14th. It's a top 6 defense. It's a hell of a defense, man. They, they have some ballers over there. Now let's go to the roster. Quarterback Zach Wilson will be the starter. Uh, Joe Flacco backing him up. Mike White was supposed to be the starter, um, but he's got that rib injury. So they're going back to the number two overall pick. This guy, Zach Wilson, you know, we'll talk about it a bit too when I talk about Lions uh, D versus O. Now running back, Zonovan White, a guy, a, a rookie. I think it was an undrafted guy at NC State um, who's played pretty good the last three, four weeks. Um yeah, he's he's a pretty good football player, man. Just kind of came out of nowhere. Injuries, you know, Brees Hall went down with the really promising rookie. Michael Carter wasn't really getting a job. I think he was banged up too. But Michael Carter will be backing up Zonovan Way. He's more of the receiving back. And then wide receiver Garrett Wilson, the rookie out of Ohio State, who's a baller. Elijah Moore, a young kid too. Braxton Berrios, kind of like that Danny Amendola type. And then Denzel Mims. Um, kind of rounds off their wide receiver core. Then tight end, Tyler Conklin, who I think is a little bit underrated. He's not a bad tight end. He's, you know, he's probably top, top 15, top 13. It's a pretty solid tight end. He's not, he's not a superstar or anything, but he can make some plays. And then they got CJ Uzuma, who came from the Cincinnati Bengals, who's more of their blocking tight end. And then offensive line, left guard, Lakin Thomason. You guys remember him. If he sounds familiar, he used to be a Detroit Lion. Center, Connor McGovern. Right guard, Nate Herbig. And right tackle, George Fant, who's been a little bit banged up, but he should be, he's, good, he's good to go. He had a knee injury, but he, he was at full practice. So they're not a bad old line. They're nothing special. Nothing special. You know, they, they were running the ball earlier in the year when they had Brees Hall, who was running Ruxia all, all over teams. Um, but they could run block a little bit. They can run block a tiny bit. Um, so they're not, they're not a bad Bad old line. They'll smash you in the mouth a little bit. And then the defense. This defense is, is killer, man. Defensive tackle, Quinnen Williams. He's 50-50 like we talked about. He's a hell of a defensive tackle. Hell of an interior. Gets all kinds of push. This whole D-line in New York gets push and gets to the quarterback. Even the linebackers, man. The linebackers are a little bit weak after, after a certain guy. And I'll talk about them. But they all get to the quarterback and they all make plays. Defensive tackle, Sheldon Rankins, another guy that can kind of get to the quarterback. I think he used to play for the Saints. If I'm correct, I could be wrong there. But um, he gets some push. Defensive end, Carl Lawson's got about six or seven sacks on the year, too. Get to the quarterback a bit. Defensive end, John Franklin Myers. Got a few sacks himself. Defensive end, Michael Clemens, the rookie, couple sacks himself. And then another rookie defensive end, Jermaine Johnson. Have a couple sacks himself. Those guys get to the quarterback, man. Defensive tackle, Nathan Shepard. You know, they'll round it off with defensive end, Bryce Huff, who's got like three or four sacks in some spot duty. So their whole D-line gets to the quarterback. They they cause a lot of problems. It's going to be a really big key O-line versus their D-line. 
Now, linebackers, C.J. Mosley, who I think is a really good linebacker. He's the vet. Makes a lot of plays, makes a lot of tackles. He can blitz, too. He doesn't really come off the field much. He's a good ball player. Then they got Quincy Williams, who's okay. Then Quan Alexander kind of has bounced around from team to team. But C.J. Mosley is a problem, for sure. And then, and then the DB, safety, Jordan Whitehead. More of their... Um, more of their sure tackler type of safety with a couple picks as well, though. Then cornerback DJ Reed can make some plays. Then then another cornerback, Ahmed Sauce Gardner, the rookie, locks guys down. Couple picks himself. Probably one of the front runners, him and Aiden Hutchinson are probably gonna be the, the two front runners for rookie of the year defensively. Really good one, man. And a, and a Detroit native as well. Then safety Lamarcus Joyner. And then cornerback Michael Carter the second. Really good defense overall, man. So let's talk the Lions O versus this Jets defense. Okay. This is good. This we have a fantastic offense. Okay. And here we go again. Um, and I'm gonna say this is all gonna come down to Goff. A lot of it. A lot of it's gonna come down to Goff. Goff has been known not to have good games in cold weather. He's not he's not really showing out this year on his road games. Two touchdowns. Completion percentage is pretty nice, though. But he's not getting the ball into the end zone. We've been, you know, our, our two wins that we had against the Giants, and I, I, I forget who it was that we played. Um, I can't even think right now. But the Giants, we played really good defensively. We ran the ball well. Uh, that was a road game. And then a road game against Chicago. Um, made some defensive plays in that game, too, as well. Didn't really necessarily need Goff to shine. Scored a bunch of points in that game, though, but most of it was was running a couple touchdowns, maybe one touchdown throw. I don't even remember, but he's only thrown two touchdowns on the road. And I'm not asking him to be Patrick Mahomes and throw for 350 and four touchdowns every week. I'm not asking that. He's been an assassin at home, but he's had problems on the road, and he's he doesn't have great numbers in cold weather. Now, I don't really know what the weather's going to be like, um, I know the radio when I was coming into work this morning or coming home. I forget what it was. Valente, Valente so I was coming home. Valente was saying it was, I think he was saying it was going to be nice. I think they said the weather was going to be decent. So it is December. You know, we're a week away from Christmas. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit cold there. Goff is the X factor. He's got all his weapons now. No more excuses from the truthers. There's going to be no more excuses. Let's do something. Now, I'm not, if he, now if he comes out, and has a bad game, I'm not going to rip him apart. It just all depends how he does it, right? Like, this is a top, top-notch defense he's facing. So, it's not like we're facing the Minnesota Vikings on the road. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing here. So, we're facing a top-notch defense. So, I'm not going to tear him apart, but he is going to be the X factor. Everybody's healthy. There should be no excuses. I don't think they're going to score a ton of points. We'll get to that in a bit, too. But... He needs to be better on the road. Plain and simple. And then that O-line against that Jets D, that defense, that front, that, that front seven is going to be a test. It's going to be battle tested, especially if Quinn and Williams plays. So you got to protect Goff. You got to open up holes in the run game. You got to do all that to have success in this game. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. But we're but the Jets, they're very hard to throw on. But we got a great throwing offense. But they lock it down. They don't give up anything. They don't give up nothing, man, in the passing game. They're top five. They're number four. They don't give up a lot of points. So I don't expect a lot of points. But I expect us to do something because we, we do have an upper echelon offense. Now, the Lions defense versus that Jets. So, okay. Listen, this, this, this defense in Detroit has been playing much better, like I said, the last six weeks. You got Zach Wilson cut Zach Wilson back in the mix after taking about a three, four weeks off. Okay. Mike White was supposed to be the quarterback. Now Zach Wilson's a guy. You don't know who he is. Let me give you a quick rundown. BYU quarterback, second overall pick. Rough rookie year. Having a rougher, I think, even a, a second year. He's had maybe one good game against the Patriots where he threw for a couple touchdowns. But he's been abysmal. He's been absolutely abysmal. Had a bad game three, four weeks ago. Had an opportunity to put him on on a, on his shoulders, and was like he had, he was asked the question, 
you did, do you think you let down the defense? Because the defense played lights out. I think they lost like ten to three or what, or whatever it was. Defense played lights out, and his answer was no before the guy even got the question out of his mouth. So you got Robert Sala benched him. Enters Mike White. Mike White's no world beater, but he is better than Zach Wilson at this moment. That's really that's really not that's it's really not debatable. Now. Zach Wilson has an arm. He's a, he's a little bit mobile. He's not Justin Fields mobile, but he is mobile. He can run around. Doesn't have a lot of big yards running, though, but he is mobile. So they got to come for this kid. Like, one of two things is going to happen here with this Zach Wilson kid. He's either going to redeem himself, because right now he's not, there's no trust in that locker room. If you read and listen to a lot of things, he's not really, he's not really well liked. In that locker room, from what from what I'm hearing and reading, so take that with a grain of salt. Whatever that means, he he he's either going to redeem himself, or this is going to go real south for him, because this defense has to be coming for him. Aaron Glenn has to have a plan to get in his face. Now, don't get silly and and blitz 99 percent of the time. You got to pick and choose your spots. But Zach Wilson, he makes a ton of mistakes, man. He makes a ton of mistakes. He's young. You know, he's not the biggest guy. He's not little, but he's not the biggest guy. He can move around a bit in the pocket. He does have an arm. He has a rocket for an arm. But he's prone to make a lot of mistakes. We got to put him in that situation. So what they do, what they do probably the best, they probably pass the ball the best, I guess. They're 15th passing yards. They don't score a lot of points, like 20 points per game. Puts them at 22 in the NFL. So this this Lions defense just needs to really get in his grill, shut him down. You're going to have a problem with Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson is a rookie from Ohio State. They're pro-ready all the time. He's having a pretty good year. He's had some bad games, but he is a hell of a wide receiver. Elijah Moore can do some things too. He hasn't had a great year. Berrios is sneaky. Denzel Mims, not too worried. But Zonovan, the, the guy the, the two the two guys that worry me the most on that Jets offense is Garrett Wilson and probably right now Zonovan Knight. You know, but Zach Wilson's got to get the ball to Garrett Wilson. I expect the Cuda, who should be 100 percent healthy now. I know from that illness, he should be on Garrett Wilson. It should be a good game. It should be a solid game, man. But I don't think there's going to be a lot of points scored here. So I'm picking, I'm picking the Lions to go up there and win again. Win the win the Campbell versus Sala game, 23-17. I don't think there's going to be a lot of points scored in this game. I think, I know I heard it on the radio too, and I think I, I thought it was, I, I thought it was really good. First team to 20 is going to win. First team that gets 20 points is probably going to win. So I think we're going to score 23, maybe 26. But I'm going to say with 23-17, Detroit Lions keep making that playoff push. The Jets, they're kind of in a down, they're kind of in a downward spiral. You know, Zach Wilson could redeem himself. It's almost like we could feel it, the SOL thing coming up here. But I don't think that's going to happen. Zach Wilson's nothing special. Um, no disrespect, man. Maybe he'll be good in the future. But right now... But he's. This is a redeeming, a redemption game for him. He 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 needs to get back in the good graces or some type of grace with, with his teammates and and especially his head coach if he wants to be the future New York Jets quarterback. So, twenty three seventeen Detroit Lions. Boom. I think we're gonna win this game, guys. So don't. Thanks a lot for tuning in, man. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Get all my videos. And don't forget to like, comment, share this out. What do you guys think, man? Detroit Lions, baby. One pride. Go Lions. Boom.